we all face problems in our lives. From everyday frustrations like losing our keys, to bigger problems like difficulties with friends and family, struggling at school or work, issues with health, mood or confidence. Problem solving describes a set of skills for identifying, prioritizing and tackling problems. These skills help us cope as well as possible with whatever life throws at us. We wanted to find out how improved problem solving might benefit young people with anxiety and depression, the most common mental health problems for teenagers and young adults. We looked at research on problem solving therapies and discovered problem solving is often used as one part of therapy, along with other techniques. Such combination treatments are generally effective for both anxiety and depression. There was good evidence that when used on its own, problem solving can help with depression, but there was no evidence that it helps with anxiety. Problem solving has been used in different therapy formats, one-to-one -one sessions with a counsellor, in groups in school, on a computer, or by completing booklets. There was no clear evidence that any one format was better than the rest. Most studies were done in well-resourced countries from Europe and North America, but good effects have also been found in studies from middle-income countries. Young people who worked on problem solving in therapy said that it helped them with managing stress, anger and other difficult feelings, and made a positive difference in their day-to-day -day lives. They felt more in control, hopeful and able to deal with future problems. The relationship with the therapist was also really important to feeling better. Problem solving worked best when a therapist made them feel safe and supported and comfortable about sharing problems openly. We think problem solving could be a good way to offer young people from around the world a practical set of skills that helps with their main daily concerns and in a format that suits them.